So welcome back to my YouTube channel, TK Fresh Products. I hope you all are doing fine, friends. Well, friends, I have received one parcel from Assam. So let's unbox this one. Very nice pack here. So, so this is the module for EV brand Electro Wise the Relax 15P. So let's check what is issue in this. We will check this. So we will apply power and check what is the issue in this. Put it on this one. We will check what is the issue. Put it on. Put it on. So power comes. See if power comes. So we will. So we will give some input connection, I mean the our speaker. See this is the problem. See this is the problem in both, in both, in both uh, LF and HF, highs and mid, both hissing sound is coming. Yeah, see. So this is the problem my friend. Okay, so let's check what is the issue in this. Okay, just keep watching my video. Guys, so we'll put it off first. I put it off. Take it out the So the thing is when this type of sound is coming, so our amplifier section is good. Okay, so we'll check the amplifier section first. So if there is any shorting here this should not show any shorting so I keep this two is for HF and these two terminals for LF so if there is any shorting then there is a problem so there is no shorting see there is no shorting so our amplifier section is good so now we will concentrate on the input board so what we will do let's take out this one So disconnect this input connector. This is the 10 pin input connector from amplifier board to input board. Okay guys. So what we will do. Remove this 1, 2, 3 nut. And here 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Total 6 screws hexagon. Take out the knob. So our input board will come out. Okay. Just remove this one. I have already removed the screws, take out this image slowly. Take out this one. So now we will work on this. Somebody try to repair this one. You can see the soldering. Somebody try to repair it. Just try to repair somebody. So this came from the service center uh, from another technician. So we will check this one now. So I am sure there is a problem in this input board only. See the solder this IC also some points here and here so this is badly tempered PCB so we'll work on this now so 
so guys we will work, work on this we cannot supply a voltage because the input terminal is very very small but i am sure there is a problem in the input board only because this is my experience uh, will tell so uh, they have tempered the piece they have soldered this ic this ic this ic uh, this is the main uh, master ic mcu main control ic and this is memory ic and this is uh, ADIC and after digital control it is 1701 okay and rest of is operational uh, op IC operational uh, amplifier IC so they somebody tried to repair before technician and they left it like this soldering too much too much uh, solder paste also so now what we will do uh, we will check one by one so this is the connector so this is the connector mm. in this connector you know uh, this is our uh, uh, common point this is uh, like uh, like you know common ground okay so and this two is this is minus 15 supply and this is plus 15 okay so here showing this much showing this much so if we check the in atoms to showing some 3.1 kilo ohms so point see fluctuation is there so I am getting this abnormal reading so this supply is going to this both supply this both plus 15 minus 15 is going to all uh, op IC but but first before it is reaching here this one and this one okay so I actually I am suspecting this IC because uh, this is very big badly damaged IC also so very badly soldered also in this so first what we will do we will check some ohms on this IC first on this IC so take uh, Four as uh, ground and eight supply. See, there's a fluctuation. If I check on pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, five, six. Seven, eight. So there is a eight. There is on eight fluctuation is there. And so anyway, uh, it looks like you know normal. And here we'll check now. Pin number four is as uh, I'll take common. Or oh, then pin number eight so supply. Same pin number one, two. 3 4 is common 5 5 string some looms 6 7 this is 8 so if I check uh, this is like you know ground if I check like uh, Okay, this is like ground if I check over here clones fluctuation C 3.1 I am suspecting this IC my friend so what we will do we will replace this IC 33178 so we will I am getting some abnormal ohms on this IC so better remove this IC and better remove this IC because we'll put the new one only directly because I'm suspecting this IC because somebody tempered with this IC so we'll try to we'll prepare to remove this IC just keep watching my video guys till end so guys we have removed the IC which was uh, a defective IC 
the number of this IC is 33178 this op IC so I'm sure this IC might be defective or it will be defective faulty IC so first uh, we'll clean this one like this okay guys so we'll fix the new IC now this is the old one IC so we got the new IC 3178 this is the new IC so we'll fix the new IC this one so guys we have sold the new IC this is the old IC so we have perfectly soldered okay now we will fix it back and uh, check what is the status uh, let me check as you know my friend before uh, we are getting here some 3 kilo ohms on minus 15 line now see it's mega ohms and this is plus 15 but here minus 15 voltage what showing some mega ohms uh, sorry some kilo ohms 3.3 but now it is not showing before it was showing so because of this ic only this ic is shorted so we have replaced this 33178 ic op ic with the new one so now that uh, shorting is gone before it was showing here 3.3 kilo ohms 3.2 something like that so now it's gone so now we'll fix it back and we'll check what's the status. Check now. I have already connected the speaker. I have already given the LF and HF. So we'll check it out now. Okay, we'll put it on now. Put it on. So there is no hissing sound now because before before giving input signal sound was coming hissing sound but now so we'll apply some input signal and we'll check. So guys working fine okay so it's working fine so we have replaced the defective IC this only so thank you very much for watching my video take care see you very soon next video bye